Hello, this is the Beckstein Model S Grand Piano. That's five foot, eight inches long. It's the shortest Beckstein Grand and one of the shortest pianos you'll get actually. There are quite a few English pianos that are around that length, but uh, this is a German piano and certainly the shortest German piano that we've ever had in stock. And Beckstein Model S uh, is actually not as common as the Beckstein London, which is you find in England, but the Beckstein London is made in England, made in London. Not surprisingly, but this is a genuine Beckstein grand piano. The ivory keys are absolutely perfect and there's not a, not a blemish on them at all. So that's very encouraging. Now the piano has very low pedals. We've said this about Beckstein's before, which is very encouraging too. And the leg room already is, is slightly more than average, but you could increase it even more if you're very tall by putting glass caster cups under which we supply. That raises it up another inch, and that would certainly be plenty of leg room for any tall person. Now the casework of the piano is immaculate, it's just been refinished, and let's look at the inside too. It's certainly inside on many similar pianos. We restore a lot of Beckstein grand pianos, and um, the rest plank's been changed. I mentioned this in many other videos, so I won't carry on very long, but everything basically has been done. The bridge has been capped to bring the down bearing, a bit, increase it slightly to give a better tone. And uh, so listening to the tone of the piano. For a short piano, it's very pleasant. Around there, it's extremely pleasant tone. And of course you get nearer the bass, you get don't have long strings so the Beckstein have managed to get a good tone out of them even though they're not very long. We'll compare that with a tone of a longer piano. This is a fully restored Bluthner Style 4. We do a lot of Bluthner Style 4s, they're more common than the Beckstein. Um, the Bluthner don't make a shorter piano than this, this is five foot in length. It has a, obviously has a slightly warmer bass, slightly longer strings. I'll just go up in length once more to, this is a two metre long piano, so a lot longer. And of course, a very rich bass, as you'd expect. This is another Beckstein piano, one of our favourites, a Model 5, two metres long. Now, if you're buying a Beckstein Model S, then obviously it's be, the length is important to you to have a small piano. So for a small piano, it's a very warm sound, even though it's not very big. But if you play in the octaves, it sounds very pleasant indeed. And the middle area has very, very good tone. We do need to voice the hammers. I'll be talking about that in a minute. So those are brand new Arbel hammers, exactly the same type that Beckstein will put on themselves. Maybe not quite the same Arbel hammers, but um, all hammers are slightly, slightly different and all sets of hammers vary. And uh, we do need to voice this piano. The, 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 fat, the felt is put on hard, and then obviously you need to soften it down here first while it's still um, all together in the pack in the vise. We, we put, put in the vise, all the hammers together, and then voiced gradually more and more till you get to the very top. We need to do an accorder voicing, and I can't really see the marks clear enough on the top here. I've mentioned this in other videos, so I'm going to show you again how we mark the hammers. First of all, we place some carbon paper over the hammers, then put it in the piano, and then we're going to play it. So now we play the piano with the carbon paper in it. Doesn't need to be too strong, just enough to mark the hammers so we can voice the piano. Just come back down again. So now we can clearly see the marks on the hammers. That allows us to voice the piano for the inner corner, particularly in between where it's hitting at the moment. I've made a recent video about that. I won't go on too much about that in this one. Um, but if you look through, you see marks, and then we can see where it's not marked yet. And we can't really see the string marks enough to be able to voice it properly there. So now we've uh, marked all the hammers and we can voice for the unaccord in between where the string hits. So in between there and there, and we'll show the unaccord adjustment in a minute, and there, so that when the hammer moves over, that part of the hammer hits the string and make, it makes a softer sound. And this part, which hits normally, is slightly louder. Of course, as you wear the piano in, 
the part that hits normally will get uh, stronger anyway and brighter. Um, if you want to voice the rest of the top of the hammer, then it's best to try here first and see if that works. Try breaking the fibers. Basically, it's breaking fibers that we're trying to do, give it more bounce. So when you push the needles in, the fibers break. And you don't want to make, break more than you have to, but it's necessary to break some to get it to, to bounce and to get it softer. And then you might want to just pepper it at the top. All hammers vary, so if you're a voicer, you might have different ideas. So please do let me know what you do. And we're all trying to learn from each other. And by the way, this action was made by Renner and Beckstein actions today are made by Renner too. So not a lot's changed really. As we look at the hammers through the strings, I'm just get this in focus a bit better. That's better. So if we see here, the hammer, we can see the string marks as I push it sideways. That's not that clear, unfortunately. Um, I did another video where I'd made them much stronger so you could see more clearly. So perhaps I'd refer you back to that video. But basically, the hammer moves over so that it hits in between. I think you can see on that one. There we are. And if you move it, that's where you can see the hammer's mark where the string hits and then moves over so it's an in-between part. And then if we listen to the hammer, it's, it's not really much different at the moment. I've voiced one of them. I think it's this one. Well, you can't hear it much. Well, on the other video, I've uh, voiced the whole piano, so it's more, more obvious. Yeah. So that's the Beckstein Model S. Just been finishing the full, full restoration. Got some fine voicing to do and toning. But I, I thoroughly enjoyed working on this piano today. And uh, what I like about Beckstein's is the fluidity of the action on them. Obviously, well, this is a short piano, so it won't have a wonderfully big tone, but They've designed it in such a way that it works as a small piano. Five foot eight inches long is the smallest piano of the, the big makes, as far as I know, of the big makes of Beckstein, Steinway, Bosendorfer, Blutner. Blutner do a, a five foot piano, which we have quite commonly, but the Beckstein Model S in the UK is not that common. More common is the London, Beckstein London, which is actually made in London and has London on the soundboard, so you can identify that. Um, but this one, I think is one of the best small pianos you can possibly get. So if you do need a piano that's very short, five foot eight is about the shortest you're gonna get of, of a good piano. Although it's not got a powerful bass, in the octaves, it works very well indeed. We put a 10-year guarantee on all our stock, um, and a free visit in the UK for these grand pianos that have been fully restored. So I can thoroughly recommend it if you want a small piano. We're just finishing off voicing the unicorder pedal and voicing generally, evening up the hammers. That takes some time, but we want to do a, as good a job as we possibly can, obviously, and get it as perfect as possible. Thank you very much for listening.